Hello and welcome back another week today. <laughs> I was gonna say another week a new episode. Today we have a new series to start. Um, we're watching Fleabag. I put up a poll. Um, I don't know when this is going up. So at a point I put up a poll and it was a, it was a different sort of poll. I was kind of just like, how are we like what are we vibing? I want to see like the interest because a lot of the shows on that poll I plan to get to eventually. It was more just like which one's coming first, like who wants what. I feel like Fleabag A did very well. There's it's actually a very close race for a lot of different shows, but Fleabag did very well. It's probably been on my list for the longest, so I do want to get it done. Um because a lot of the other ones on that were probably a bit newer. Whereas um this show it's like we, we've had it on the list. It is also an older sh- show, I'm pretty sure. So, I want to get it done and I'm really excited because I've heard such good things. Like I have heard from like a lot of you and people in real life that Fleabag is a great. I think I've also seen it on like a really like good like list of shows on like IMDb or something. So, I'm excited to see what it is. I think I've heard it on like podcasts to YouTube videos. Like it it comes up. It's like not that thing that everyone talks about, but it comes up a lot. It's one of those like strange things. But I have no real idea what it's about. I think it's a comedy possibly. And I think I've seen clips, like a couple of clips from it about years ago, back when I used to like um it was probably it was probably like 10 years ago when I like scroll on Facebook and you'd watch like small clips of different shows because that, that was just my feed if Facebook even had a feed um but there would be like music over the top and that'd be like the girl has ha-, like it would be the dumbest like thing but you'd just like watch clips of shows it was wild but that's the only real thing i have that i know about this show um other than that uh i'm wearing glasses today i don't usually do it but my eyes are sore it's just one of those days eyes are sore contacts don't want to be worn so we've got glasses so sorry if See there's a bit of reflection from my light. I'm sorry about it, but I'll be looking this way for most of it so we should be fine. Um if you'd like to watch the full length reactions, I've linked my Patreon down below. Like and subscribe, that would be wonderful. Also, I've started um this is like a niche that may only cross over like one or two of you, but I started streaming on Twitch recently and I do that occasionally. So if you'd like to if you'd like watching video games or just want to come say hi, you can follow me there and I'm live sometimes so you can just hang out have a chat other than that let's get into it get out of bed drink half a bottle of wine get in the shower shave everything dig out some agent provocateur business suspend about the whole bit and wait for <laughs> the door until the buzzer goes no don't know that feeling but love that for you babe open the door to him like he almost forgot he's coming over go get oh. it oh hey hey look at him hey. Hey, let's fuck. And then you get to it immediately. Oh my god. Oh, I'd love how she just like talks to the camera. <gasps> That's crazy. After some pretty standard bounce. Standard bouncing. Yep. He's edging towards your asshole. <sighs> oh yeah, he's got drunk. Man. Yeah, you did drink the whole bottle of wine. <laughs> Oh. Well, at least he's telling you that he appreciates it. To find him fully dressed, sat on the side of the bed, Ooh. gazing at And he hasn't just left? That's wild. No, thank you. Oh, hi. What are you peering down at us for? It's particularly special because... Uh, what? I've never managed to actually... What? Did drop you... the bomb. Oh. Okay. To be fair, he does have a large penis. <gasps> and all those. Wow. Never found anyone I could do it with. Interesting. That's. It's your hair. Nice. Besides it being creepy that he's like fully dressed and staring at you and it's kind of like white everywhere and it kind of maybe feels like we're in heaven. Thank That's you. cute. We're never going to see him again, right? Wow, the eye contact is wild. And then he leaves. Okay. Was he real? It feels like this could have all been an apparition. It could have been something that did not happen. 
Do I have a massive ass? <laughs> the questions you gotta ask. Oh, God. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. I feel like I just got thrown into like a wormhole. What the fuck? Who are you staring at? Thank you. Eyes on your paper. Oh, oh, we like it. Okay, what are you gonna tell us? Hello. Are you gonna say something? Um, this doesn't happen very often, does it? <laughs> <laughs> what does? Int. <laughs> That's quite rare, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I hate myself. <laughs> oh, I love knowing her inner monologue. But I think that I should take a number, and I think I should call it, and I think- What, to make sure it's the right one? With me. Um. Um. Fuck me, you've got a boyfriend. Yes, sure, lie. No, we broke up quite recently, didn't we? Oh my god, I'm so sorry, slash really, please. Oh, I hate that. Please. Get off the bus. Power rarely gives up without a fight. Oh, we're gonna find out. We also know that populism oh. can take dangerous turn. Got it. I mean, you know what? Everyone's got everyone's got something that they want. I would have turned the sound off, I think. To the nationalism that left what are you doing? Nothing. <laughs> I mean, you knew he was there, right? I know what you were doing. I was oh. watching the news. Really? Yes. We wanted to hear all that Obama had to say. Yeah. And she just... What was he talking about then? Also had a scratchy vagina, that's all. I just need to hear this. What was he talking about? Why is he so up in arms about this though? Rock. Oh, that was a good guess. Don't say anything. And what? Please don't stop me leaving. The hell is up with this guy? Turn off my house drunk in your underwear. It won't work this time. It will. It will. What do we care? I'm taking that posh shampoo. Sorry, did we care that she finds Obama attractive? He was talking about democracy. Is he one of those people that's like porn? It wasn't even... I don't know. We'll see. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, your laugh scares me. So, so was that like, you can have my number or what do we... Yes. Sure, do we really want to? He scares me. And I'll be sure to treat you like a nasty little bitch. Oh. Okay, it works on some people. Yeah, no, some people love that. We get that. We, we're happy for you guys. But on just off the bus, if you call me a nasty little bitch... Mm -mm, throwing you back in front I of that bus. I can't stop smiling. Sorry, I... <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay, it's either she's a nasty little bitch or you're in love. We can't. Oh my god. Where are Dad's we? Dad's way of coping with two motherless daughters was to buy us tickets to feminist lectures, start fucking our godmother, and eventually stop calling. Oh. Your godmother. Got you look it. tired. Thanks, I've been sleeping really well recently. I hate that. Never say you look tired. I think it's the like rudest thing someone could ever say. Because either you are tired and you don't want to fucking hear it because you're tired, I'm wearing or you're not the top tired. But she lost years ago, so. I mean, sister things. Or you're not fucking tired, and someone just kind of just said that you look like shit. Oh God! Like, can we just have two I seconds? I was going to ask how now. it was I going know, with I just the don't cafe. Want to talk about it. Okay. Jesus. It's a lot in a lecture space. Tell your super high-powered, perfect, anorexic, rich super sister that you've rich. run out of money is having to ask her to bail you out. Oh shit. Maybe you should be a little bit nicer. Just like kiss up a little. A little, a little kissing up. I'm just gonna ask her. No, do it. You gotta. I believe in you. I'm just gonna ask her. Do it. No, I feel like I'm along for the ride. Come. Do you need to borrow money? No. Can't do it. Can't do it. No, you can. For your business. Good then. Yeah, it's good. It's really good. It's really, really good. Yeah, it's really good. Sounds like it. If it's going really well, should you be here at a feminist lecture or at work? Hey. Hey. Oh, he's not gonna buy anything. No thanks, I'm good. No, you can't let them sit here without purchasing something. No, that's not how it works. You have to buy something to sit in here. 
This is not a free space and library for electricities. I actually heard from one um, cafe that I used to go to. They were just like, we actually got rid of the tables and chairs because people would take them up for too long. Like, it wasn't... We were losing money on having tables and chairs. Five years of your life for the so-called perfect body. If you could tell me how many years I'm going to live in this random scenario, then maybe. Feminist. But does that also mean I don't, I, I have the perfect body forever? Because that's pretty good. But if I can like, if I have to maintain the perfect body, I'd be a little bit more annoyed. When you get cold. Nah, I got really hairy nipples. I would like some like follow up questions for this scenario. Oh, Jesus! I'm trying to reach out. <sighs> Everything she's pitying you, possibly, possibly. Are you okay? Oh, that's nice. Okay. Maybe only a slight bit of pity. Do you want to go for a drink? Cool. Uh, I've got plans. Do you? Sure. See you next time. Women speak then. Hang out with your sister. It could be fun. Do you want to go for a drink? Wow. That's kind of... And then maybe she'd offer to help you out with the business. But like, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say no to a, to a maroon. I wouldn't like... I would prefer to swim in lava with piranhas eating every inch of my skin and a knife through my brain than listen to that. Is that really so harsh? Or perhaps like a little cucky tail. Or like more like another shot. No, I'm I'm sticking with it. Fine. Wow. Um thanks. Thanks. I'll work uh tomorrow. But um another drink. Oh well, here. we can just go back to yours. I've gotta be up really early. Oh. It's ridiculous. Like <laughs> Okay, what the fuck is your problem? Yeah, we just need to get to it. Maybe he wants like a relationship. I am um, I I like you. He's a romantic and she wants sex. <laughs> You're pathetic. Okay, bit harsh. I was, but... I, I wasn't. You, you dropped this. Oh, you didn't even steal well. Um... Yikes, you are fucking this day up. <laughs> it's very oh belly actually. How much? Thousands. Really? Can I have it? Stealing it. <laughs> no. <laughs> She's like, that's mine, don't you fucking touch it. <laughs> I hate this. This is a lot. Ooh. Oh, um, my self-portrait. Oh, really? Doesn't look like you. It resembles the, the, the inner spirit and vibe of the loneliness in my heart. I can hear your death. Yes. I love art, but sometimes art can be a lot, you know what I mean? Nice of him. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye. Um, please look after yourself. Of course. You look ghastly, darling. Wow. I would have fucking stolen that statue. I opened the cafe with my friend Boo. Cute nine? Yeah. Yeah, she's dead now. Oh. She accidentally killed herself. Oh, shit. Some wanted to punish him by ending up in hospital and not letting him visit her for a bit. Really? To walk into a busy cycle lane, wanting to get tangled in a bike. Holy shit. Bikes go fast and flip you into the road. Three people died. She's such a dick. Oh, that's a lot of trauma to one pack. I don't know. Have you dealt with that? Way. Yeah, I'd be fucking worried too. I'd be like, who the fuck is in the back of my taxi? Oh. Yeah. No shirt. No shirt. <gasps> yes! We did steal it. Hell yeah. Let's put that on fucking eBay. Fleabag. Hell yeah. That was really cool. Um, 
I, I've got like so, I'm like so interested in where this goes as a story because I think they set it up like so well. A, a very funny, like very fun, crazy shit going on. But like, there's a lot of shit going on with her. Like a lot of stuff. You know, the sister, the dad, the god, uh, godmother. You know, all that stuff. How's she gonna work through that? The ex boyfriends. How she does partners. Very self deprecating like you know how she sees herself certain blocks in her life her friends and you're kind of like hmm I wonder how this is gonna go is it gonna be like a like a kind of comedy-esque like you know doing better with yourself or kind of just always at this state because it's not like she's a horrible person um but they set her up to kind of show that she she does, she does doesn't do the best thing at all times, which makes for a really funny show. Um, but I wonder if it'll be like, you know, this journey of self... I don't know where we're going from here. Um, I love that she stole that stuff. Um... I know, and she's just so funny. The look to the camera is really good. It's a bit scary at some times because I'm like, whoa, you're in a position. You shouldn't be talking to me. Focus on what you're doing. But I love that it's like everyone else around her can't hear it. And it really connects you to it. You're like, oh, I am along for this journey with her because I am always here with her as she's talking to me, um, which is really cool. Um, But yeah, really good first episode. Really like quick, but really funny. Um, And I really can't wait to see where this goes. Uh, But... For now, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and are having a great day. And I hope to see you in the next one.